Welcome to another episode of The Music Rabbit Hole. I am your humble host and bus driver on this musical journey. Another episode here on this Wednesday. The goal with this show, we're going to try to bring you three episodes a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications. I appreciate that. Also appreciate all the great feedback been getting from everybody who's been enjoying the show so far. I know there's only been one episode to watch. If you haven't watched that yet, go watch that. Also, keep in mind, Spotify playlist will be in the description. Uh, it'll be a public Spotify playlist. You can just go in there, listen to all the songs today. And again, the point of this show is to take you on this journey here. We're going to start with a band that you may know, travel through 10 artists as a whole, um, and keep using the fans also like feature on Spotify and playing the top track of the next band. And then along the way, maybe you find your new next favorite band. We'll see. My hat matches my shirt. I know. Let's begin here. The band, as you've seen uh, with the uh, beginning of the, or excuse me, the little thumbnail thing, it says, you know, who, what, what you're watching. We are going to be starting with the Strokes on this episode. This was requested. Shout out to one of my good friends, Molly. Um, so the Strokes are one of those bands. They're super influential in the rock scene. They just put out a new record for the first time in a long time. And uh, I just decided, let's start with them um, and see where the journey takes us. So again, I'm just going to go through... This is not predetermined. I'm going to be reacting to about a minute of each song um, from each band as we go along, and, and we'll see what we get. So for The Strokes, we're going to start with one of their most popular songs right now from the new record. It's called The Adults Are Talking. And again, this is The Strokes. This is a really good record, by the way. If you haven't listened to it, I'm sure you've seen it all over social media. Uh, this is this is a fantastic record. Maybe record of the year in the rock category. We'll see. So we're going to play about a minute of it. Stop it for now and move on to the next band here. One thing about the Strokes really love is they always have that good driving backbeat, that drum, uh, even if it's synthetic or something like that, kind of driving the song along. Great pacing. Uh, and I did mention last time, I'm not going to use a whole lot of music terminology. I'm not some big music encyclopedia. I'm not going to tell you the history of these bands. I'm not going to give you these fancy terms. If I like something, I'm going to say I like it. I know last episode I said that a lot, um, but we'll see. If I point out something that I think is kind of cool and you may like too, but this isn't about uh, music snobs or things like that. Next band is called The Last Shadow Puppets. Uh, this is this song has had 41 million uh, listens, and it's their number one song. I probably should know it. I don't know this band. Let's see. This song is called Miracle Aligner, and again, the band is The Last Shadow Puppets. I can see why it was in the Strokes uh, fans also like category. Kind of has that stroke sound to it. Not a lot to say about that one. I mean, I like it. I think it has, as again, that's that strokes kind of sound to it. It's kind of dreamy a little bit is how I would describe it. Um, looks like that album's from 2016. Uh, we're going to move on here. Looks like the next band on the list. Fans also like Dirty Pretty Things. Uh, this song has about 15 and a half million plays. It is called Bang Bang You're Dead. Ooh, a little brass to start it off. That's kind of cool. I 
guess this, this is a British band. Ooh. Yeah, this is that sound, that British rock sound, France for the end type sound. I guess I should have been telling you the numbers along the way. I think they'll be up in the top corner as well, up there somewhere. So this is the third band. Again, we're going to go through 10 artists today. Uh, so, again, that's Dirty Pretty Things, Bang Bang, You're Dead. Like that, I mean, it has, again, that kind of British rock sound, Arctic Monkeys, Franz Ferdinand type sound to it. Um, so I think we're going to be kind of going along that track on this episode. It's going to be a lot of bands. may sound a little familiar to each other, but we'll see where goes i mean last time we started off with uh the front bottoms and we ended with a uh, screaming punk band so we'll see looks like the next band on the list so this will be number four is called the pigeon detectives that's a cool name this song has 13 million plays it is called take her back <laughs> All these songs have a very driving drum. There's that accent, I think. So that's Take Her Back by The Pigeon Detectives. Uh, I kind of like it. Kind of like it. It has that kind of shouty chorus. You can get everybody in a pub singing it all together. Next band is called The Holloway. So this is number five. Uh, and this song has about six million plays. It is called Generator. Another British band, I think. All these songs have a lot of cool kind of dance vibe to them. That's kind of uh, almost a little ska feel to it obviously without the 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 trumpets and things like that but that kind of the way they do that guitar sounds a little like less than jake or uh you know just kind of a ska feel to it for for a british band interesting That was pretty good. That's the Holloways. Uh, next up here, fans also like this band. Looks to be a little smaller. None of these songs have even a million plays yet. Um, so this band is called Little Man Tate. And this is one of their most popular songs. It's got just under a million. So 985,000 is called Sexy in Latin. <laughs> While I'm always gone talking in the village store I was three, you were four You look lovely, that's for 
sure just something about you Together we went everywhere You scratched my face, I pulled your hair You sent me tumbling down the stairs Just something about you Nice. Okay, that's Little Man Tate, sexy in Latin. So the cool thing with this is through the two episodes now, I have only heard of like three of the bands that I've played on this show. So uh, I'm sure a lot of you probably know a lot more than I do, uh, but I'm hoping maybe a couple of these bands, especially these these seem to be smaller British bands here, um, definitely finding some, some new artists here. This is an even smaller band here. They're called Brom Heads Jacket. They have about two, 22,000 monthly listeners. This is their top song. It's called Fight Music for the Fight. 678,000 plays on this one. And this is number seven for the bands, I think. Who knows? In the back of his mind, he could have been a prize fighter like Muhammad Ali or maybe Prince Nazi. We're staying with the Brits. I mean, it's fine. We're, tra- we're, we're, we're going to go all over the place on this show. We'll cover different genres and things like that. But this episode, you start with the Strokes, a New York band. You stick with the Brits the whole time. That's rock and roll, man. Fast-paced, hard-hitting drums. Uh, I like it, though. All these bands are pretty good. This is... We're going even smaller now, people. Uh, If you've heard of this band, leave a comment below. I'll be surprised. And by the way, feel free to leave any comments below. Maybe there's a band you want me to start with for the rabbit hole. I know this week we've got this show here, The Strokes, on Wednesday, Friday. Um, Well, I'm not going to tell you what we're doing Friday. You just have to wait and see. Subscribe as well. Like the video, too. All right, so this band here for number eight here is called Harrison's. They have about 1,000 or 1,700 monthly listeners, and this song has about 77,000 plays. It is called Monday's Arms. Looks like this album came out in 2008, so this is a while ago. No idea if they have music recently or not, but this song is from 2008, so let's throw it back. I think I was a sophomore in high school. No slow songs on this Wednesday here. That's Harrison's, not the Harrison's, just Harrison's song was Monday's Arms. Uh, this next was, we got two bands left here on the journey. We're going even smaller. God, I keep saying that. I'm sorry. It's annoying. But I'm just looking at these monthly listener numbers. I'm going, how has anybody found these bands? Um, this one is, the band is called Eight Legs. Looks like their last album might have been about 10 years ago. And the song has about 75,000 plays. It is called These Gray Days. I've got one thing on my mind 
This is good. Guys, you haven't made music for 10 years? I mean, you've <laughs> this is pretty good. All right, so that was eight legs. I like that a lot. Um, final one here. So we're going to finish off with the Paddingtons. About 8,000 monthly listeners on their Spotify. And this song here has 120,000 listens. It's got almost triple the second song. So maybe this found its way into a commercial or something. Um, this song is called What's the Point in Anything New? Again, the band is the Paddingtons. pretty good that's pretty good i like that a lot too i mean all these bands today i think they all have great sounds nothing against any of them i think uh i think they all they all have kind of that that brit rock sound but it may sound like that to me who doesn't doesn't listen to the genre that much i'm sure for those who maybe listen to the genre a lot more they can definitely kind of piece those uh bands apart and and kind of see the different styles and sounds and and, and that's what it's about, man. So hopefully you found out of these 10 groups today, obviously you should know the Strokes, and if you don't, definitely listen to them. Um, hopefully you found a couple new bands, new artists that interest you from these 10. Look out for the next episode on Friday. Again, like all the YouTubers say, every video you probably ever watch, please comment, like, and subscribe. It, uh, I, I appreciate it for those who have already subscribed and left comments so far. It's very, very early goings here of this channel. Drop it in the comments as well if you have any suggestions for bands and artists that I should use as the start of the rabbit hole. And uh, besides that, again, please support artists, support music, local music especially, small bands, buy their merch, buy their vinyls, buy CDs if you still have a CD player and do all that. And we'll see you uh, next episode right here on the Music Rabbit Hole. See you guys.